Anona Glabra, Wikipedia article audio. Anona Glabra. Anona Glabra is a tropical fruit tree in the family Ananaceae, in the same genus as the Soursop and Cherimoya. Common names include pond apple, alligator apple, swamp apple, corkwood, bobwood, and monkey apple. The tree is native to Florida in the United States, the Caribbean, Central, and South America, and West Africa. It is common in the Everglades. The Aglabra tree is considered an invasive species in Sri Lanka and Australia. It grows in swamps, is tolerant of salt water, and cannot grow in dry soil. Description Ecology The trees grow to up to 12 m. They have narrow, grey trunks and sometimes grow in clumps. The leaves are ovate to oblong, each with an acute tip, 8-15 cm long and 4-6 cm broad with a prominent midrib. The upper surface is light to dark green. Leaves of the A. glabra are said to have a distinct smell similar to green apples, that can distinguish it from mangroves. The fruit is oblong through spherical and apple-sized or larger, 7-15 cm long and up to 9 cm diameter, and falls when it is green or ripening yellowish. It disperses by floating to new locations, and it is food for many animal species such as wild boar. Reproduction begins around two years of age. A fruit contains 100 or more convex, light yellow-brown seeds, about 1 cm long. A glabra flowers have a short lifespan, and have a diameter of 2 to 3 cm. The flowers have three outer petals as well as three inner petals. Compared to the pale yellow or cream color of the petals, the inner base of the A. glabra flower is a bright red. A. glabra thrives in wet environments. The seeds and fruit of this plant can be dispersed during wet seasons where they fall into swamps and rivers. This allows the seeds and fruits to spread to coastlines. A 2008 study found that A. glabra seeds can withstand floating in salt water and fresh water for up to 12 months. About 38% of those seeds can then germinate in soil, though A. glabra roots do not do well with constant flooding. Another study in 1998 found that even under intense flooding, the 12-month lifespan of A. glabra seedlings was unaffected, the growth rate of A. glabra trees did decrease however over a six-month period. Compared to other Anona seeds and trees, the A. glabra is still more resilient to instances of flooding. Unlike the other Anona species, the pulp of the fruit when ripe is yellow through orange instead of whitish. The fruit is edible for humans and its taste is reminiscent of ripe honeydew melon. It can be made into jam, and it is a popular ingredient of fresh fruit drinks in Maldives. In the older days the seeds were crushed and cooked in coconut oil and applied to hair to get rid of lice. The flesh is sweet-scented and agreeable in flavor, but it has never attained general popular use unlike soursop and other related fruits. Experiments in South Florida have been conducted to use it as a superior rootstock for sugar apple or soursop. While the grafts initially appear to be effective a high percentage of them typically fail over time. Soursop on pond apple rootstock has a dwarfing effect. Recent research suggests that its alcoholic seed extract contains anti-cancer compounds that could be used pharmaceutically. Uses it is a very troublesome invasive species in northern Queensland in Australia and Sri Lanka, where it grows in estuaries and chokes mangrove swamps. The A. glabra tree was introduced to North Queensland sometime around 1912 as both a rootstock for similar Anona species such as Anona atemia, the custard apple. 
A glabra seedlings carpet the banks and prevent other species from germinating or thriving. It also affects farms as it grows along fence lines and farm drains. It also invades and transforms undisturbed areas. This can be observed in the case of Australia's Yubenangi Swamp National Park where an outbreak occurred due to poor wetland management. In Australia, a glabra seeds can be spread by the southern cassowary. Seeds of the fruit have been found in cassowary dung with dispersal distances of up to 5,212 m recorded in one 2008 study in the journal Diversity and Distributions. The southern cassowary itself however is an endangered species in Australia. According to the Australian Government's Department of the Environment and Energy, there is only around 20-25% to of cassowary habitat remaining. Additionally, part of the government's recovery plan includes actions towards establishing nurseries filled with plants that the cassowary consumes. Because the egg labra is among the foods eaten by southern cassowary, revegetation may be necessary to ensure that cassowary have alternative food sources available. When the A. glabra population is controlled, natural vegetation can regenerate without human intervention. Invasive Species Because of its impact on the environment as an invasive weed, the Australian government classifies the A. glabra as a weed of national significance. Additionally, the A. glabra was considered the highest rank species in 2003 in a wet tropics bioregion weed risk assessment. In Sri Lanka it was introduced as a grafting stock for custard apples and spread into wetlands around Colombo. The Australian government views the A. glabra as a weed and as such offers through its Department of the Environment and Energy a control plan created in 2001 for citizens that aims at eliminating the egg labor by 20 years. The plan includes six steps that property owners can take to determine how to control and monitor an outbreak of egg labor as well as how to minimize financial damage. To disincentivize the cultivation and spread of egg labour by humans, its sale and entry is banned throughout most of Australia. Options for the control of the egg labour include fire, chemical and mechanical controls including combinations of the three types. The best time of year to do so according to the Government of Australia is during the time between August to November, which is the dry season. There are currently no studies that have looked at the biological control of a glabra within Australia. Without studies, any actions taken to eliminate the a glabra with biological controls could inadvertently affect native Australian apple species that belong to the same family. Control Strategies This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Ward. Artemis. The Grocer's Encyclopedia. Australia.